You've probably seen bottles like this at the pharmacy. When looking for a pain treatment, you might see Advil and Motrin among a bunch of other names. But did you know they're actually the same drug? These are brand names. They represent products that companies market with unique packaging, formulations, and sometimes even a distinct feel that sets them apart on the shelves. The names are designed to be catchy and marketable and are trademarked and owned by the company. The generic name is ibuprofen. That's the actual drug inside. So, whether you buy Advil, Motrin or another branded version, you're getting ibuprofen. Generic names are assigned to new drugs by the World Health Organization. They are chosen to be distinctive, not easily confused with words in common use, and to avoid suggesting a particular medical application. The generic name is a universal and unique identifier that is used around the world to ensure international consistency. Using the generic name provides clarity for doctors prescribing the drug and for the pharmacists dispensing it. But there's more. Drugs also have a chemical name. Ibuprofen is actually 2,4-isobutylphenylpropanoic acid. Not something you'd want to say at the checkout. The chemical name gives clear and precise structural information about the drug that is indispensable for scientists. But it is long and complex and open to errors. So it is impractical for use by doctors or patients. If you would like to learn more about how drugs are named, please click on the link to watch my video called Who Named These Drugs?